Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal, a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And today's video is a what sold from February 1st through February 15th of 2021. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do these what sold videos twice a month or every two weeks, and I go over all of my sales that I have on each of the platforms that I sell on. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Happy to have you as always. We were going to start on Mercari and I had one little sale. It was a Gap Space Dye Top. I got this from ThreadUp's Outlet Center. I actually got it for myself, but I didn't like how it looked. So I put it up and someone offered me $14 for it, which I accepted. There was a $2.11 fee, giving me a profit of $11.89. I also am going to start including Facebook Marketplace. I have been cross-posting a lot of things onto Facebook Marketplace and it seems to be working out. So I had two sales. First was a Michael Kors neon yellow wristlet. I got this from a Jomar box of purses and wallets and someone sent me an offer for $20, which I accepted. And then a fantastic sale. It was a new with tags, Lululemon, City to Summit bicycle shorts and they sold for full asking price of $75. And the best thing about Facebook Marketplace is that they only charge you 5%. So my total fees for those two items was $5.47, giving me a profit of $89.53 on Facebook Marketplace. Now the thing I will say that I don't necessarily like about the Marketplace on Facebook is that you don't get your money until the item is delivered and then five days past that. So you're looking at possibly a week and a half to two weeks depending on how the mail is that week so that's the only downside of facebook that i have found so far so moving on to poshmark we had 11 sales first up was a new with tags la pop art this was a graphic t-shirt that had the words peace in all different kinds of languages on it this sold for 16 dollars next was a soft surroundings burnt orange silk ruffle blouse this sold for 14 dollars and it came from a reseller box that I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. Next was something from a Thread Up Fun Box. It was a Victoria's Secret Glitter Double Mirror Compact. It appeared to be new. It still had the plastic liner on the inside and it sold for full asking price of $12. Next was a W5 Embroidered Mixed Media Handkerchief Hem Blouse. It was a size extra large and it sold for $20. Another $20 sale, this was a Peck and Peck collection, plush velour plum burgundy blazer, very, very pretty, very, very soft, and it sold for $20, and I think that if it was a larger size, it might have sold quicker, especially in the fall time, but it was a size two, so I think that might have contributed to the length that I had to hold on to it. Next was a Free People Desired Hearts mini dress or tunic. This was a size extra small, but to tell you the truth, I tried it on and I could fit it. Um, Free People was just super, super oversized. So the buyer and I went back and forth on the price. I think I originally had it listed for about 60. We settled on a price of $31 and off it went. Then we have a Patagonia Cinchilla Snap Tea Pocket Fleece Pullover. This was in a thread up bulk item box, the 100 pounds, and it sold for $60, and that was an offer that I sent to a liker. Then we have a new with tags, a new day, dusty pink plaid newsboy cap. This sold for $10. I actually lost about 16 cents on this item, but honestly, it was just taking up room, and I've had it listed for too long, so I was happy to see it go and take a little bit of loss on that one. Next is a cabbie number 109 blue jacquard one button blazer jacket. This was in excellent condition, great size, size eight, and someone sent me an offer for $25 and I graciously accepted. Next was a collaboration between Mod Cloth and Emily and Finn. It was new with tags. It was a strawberry A-line skirt. I did purchase this from Thread Up's regular website. I did pay up for it, so I really didn't make quite a bit of profit as much as I wanted to, but I knew that once I saw it on Thread Up's website that I needed to save it and hopefully pass it on to someone who will love it, and that sold for $40. And then the last sale on Poshmark was a pair of Sam Edelman Jeanette gladiator flat sandals these came in a thread up rescue box they did have some slight condition issues and they sold for 15 dollars, which was an offer that someone sent to me 
So of my 11 sales on Poshmark, I had $263 in sales, $54.13 in fees. I gave out $14.42 in shipping discounts, and that gives me a profit of $194.45. And my average sales price per item that sold was $23.91. Moving on to eBay, where we had 15 sales. I will say the first two weeks of February were a little slow for me. There were a few days that I had no sales at all, but I do think that February is typically a lower month just in general for everybody. Um, so hopefully uh, the next two weeks and March will be even better. The first up on eBay, we had a vintage CTS Sport pinstripe poker themed button down. So this had really cool embellishments of like cards and poker chips and I thought it would just be a perfect poker night shirt. So that's how I listed it. It was also a size 3x and someone sent me an offer for $14 and I did accept. Next was an Athleta Rio Vista Halter Tankini and Bikini set. The top and the bottom were actually two different sizes. One was an extra small and was a, one was a small, but because the pattern matched, I didn't really want to separate them. So thankfully I must have found the right buyer and it sold for $25. Next is the Mystery of the Shemita by Jonathan Kahn. It did have a DVD, a limited edition. So this was given to me for free. And the interesting thing about this is that there were so many of these listed on eBay and they were all for right around the same price. So I kind of listed it not really expecting anything and it sold within a week or two uh, for five dollars and nine cents. Not a huge profit but for something that it's free and it went media mail so it was super cheap to ship. I'll take it. Next we have a new with tags City Chic Ivory Lace Overlay Marina Sleeveless Blouse. This had some makeup discoloration on the collar. I tried to clean it the best that I could, but as it was new with tags, I didn't really want to mess with it too much. So I did disclose it and it sold for $21.50. Then we have a new with tags Mason Jewels Striped Paper Bag Waist High Rise Pants. These were a size 12. They sold for $14 and they went to Canada. Next is a Disney Girls Mickey Mouse shirt. Just had a big graphic of Mickey on the front. It was a size extra large in girls and it sold for $7.75. Next was a super fast flip. This was a Free People plaid pullover blouse. This was given to me from a coworker, so it was completely free to me and it sold for $20. And that was definitely less than 24 hours listed. And I did get positive feedback as well. Next was a Steven by Steve Madden faux leather gold dipped fringe purse. This I got in a purse lot that I purchased from Poshmark. It sold for $12 and I did accept a lower offer because I knew that it would be going internationally and I didn't want them to have to pay an arm and a leg, honestly. And this was my first item that went through the global shipping program. So it just got shipped out yesterday, I believe. So I'm not exactly sure what country it's going to because they don't really tell you that. Um, or at least I couldn't find any information on it. So I'm excited to see where it ends up going. Next is a pebble and stone black Swiss dot embroidered flutter sleeve top. This sold for $22.99 and that was a full asking price. Another thing of random things that can sell on eBay was an empty Apple iPhone 6S box. It was completely empty. I mean, it did have like the instruction cards. It even still had some stickers in it, but in terms of the phone itself, it was not in there. And someone purchased it for $5.99. Next was a new with tags, Chico's Blue Ideal Striped Side Tie Shirt. Had a bat wing sleeve. It was a size medium and it sold for $17.99. Next, we have a pair of Hollister Girls jeans. These were the Laguna Skinny Leg jeans. These were size one short. These came from a thread up denim box. They sold for $10 because I was just ready to see them go. <laughs> so I sent out a very low offer. Another pair of jeans, new with tags, Levi's 7-Eleven Skinny Ankle Released Hem jeans. These were size 18 and they sold for $25.75. And then the last sale was a vintage Harley Davidson red thermal hook front shirt. Um, it was a size medium. It did have a specific Harley Davidson location, I believe, on the back. Um, but this was given to me for free and it sold for $20 even.
So of my 15 sales on eBay, I made $312.31 in sales, $53.88 in eBay fees, giving me a profit of $258.43. And my average sold price was $20.82. And now for my final sales on all of the platforms, so now I'm up to four platforms, $684.31, $130.01 in fees, $123.99 in cost of goods, giving me a net profit of $430.31. And my average cost of goods for the each item that sold was $4.28. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that your sales are going well, and I hope that they get better in the last two weeks of February, including mine. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I also have a huge playlist of these what sold videos that you can go back and watch if you'd like. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.